Pittman. How are you today? You are good. You are feeling good today. Is it time for another story? <gasps> okay, so what story are we reading this time? <gasps> oh, that is a very good story, Simon. Will we show everyone at home what story we are reading? Okay, let's show everyone together. So today's story is The Boy, the Mole, the Fox and the Horse. Let's read the story together. Hello. I'm so small, said the mole. Yes, said the boy, but you make a huge difference. What do you want to be when you grow up? Kind, said the boy. What do you think success is? Asked the boy. To love, said the mole. Well, hello. Do you have a favourite saying? Asked the boy. Yes, said the mole. What is it? If at first you don't succeed, have some cake. I see. Does it work? Every time. Just a tiny taste. I got you a delicious cake, said the mole. Did you? Yes. Where is it? I ate it, said the mole. Oh, but I got you another. Did you? Where is that one? The same thing seems to have happened. What do you think is the biggest waste of time? Comparing yourself to others, said the, ball, said the mole. I wonder if there is a school of unlearning. Most of the old moles I know wish they had listened less to their fears and more to their dreams. What is that over there? It is the wild, said the mole. Don't fear it. Imagine how we would be if we were less afraid. Oh, look, there's a fox there. Wonder what's going to happen next. I'm not afraid, said the mole. If I wasn't caught in this snare, I'd kill you, said the fox. If you stay in that snare, you will die, said the mole. So the mole chewed through the wire with his tiny teeth. One of our greatest freedoms is how we react to things. Oh, look, the fox has made a little love heart in the snow. I've learned how to be in the present. How? asked the boy. I find a quiet spot and shut my eyes and breathe. That's good. And then? Then I focus. What do you focus on? Cake, said the mole. Isn't it odd? We can only see our outsides, but nearly everything happens on the inside. Be careful not to fall. So much beauty we need to look after. Being kind to yourself is one of the greatest kindnesses, said the mole. We often wait for kindness, but being kind to yourself can start now, said the mole. Often, the hardest person to forgive is yourself. Sometimes I feel lost, said the boy. Me too, said the mole. But we love you and love brings you home. I think everyone is just trying to get home, said the mole. Hello? Hello? Doing nothing with friends is never doing nothing, is it? Asked the boy. No, said the mole. And look at the beautiful horse. They're running with the horse. Oh no, look. 
look at the boy. You fail, but I've got you. Everyone is a bit scared, said the horse, but we are less scared together. Tears fall for a reason, and they are your strength, not weakness. Very wise words, horse. What is the bravest thing you've ever said? asked the boy. Help, said the horse. When have you been at your strongest? asked the boy. When I've dared to show my weaknesses. Asking for help isn't giving up, said the horse. It's refusing to give up. Sometimes I worry, you'll all realise I'm ordinary, said the boy. Love doesn't need you to be extraordinary, said the mole. We all need a reason to keep going, said the horse. What's yours? You three, said the fox. Getting home, said the boy. Cake, said the mole. I've discovered something better than cake. No, you haven't, said the boy. I have, replied the mole. What is it? A hug. It lasts longer. Nothing beats kindness, said the horse. It sits quietly beyond all things. Sometimes, said the horse. Sometimes what? asked the boy. Sometimes just getting up and carrying on is brave and magnificent. How do they look so together and perfect? asked the boy. There's a lot of frantic paddling going on beneath, said the horse. The greatest illusion, said the mole, is that life should be perfect. Now the author has written here, my dog walked over the drawing, clearly trying to make the point. Oh dear. Is it the moon? asked the boy. It's a teacup stain, said the mole. And where there's tea, there's cake. Be curious. Life is difficult, but you are loved. So you know all about me? Asked the boy. Yes, said the horse. And you still love me? We love you all the more. Sometimes I think you believe in me more than I do, said the boy. You'll catch up said the horse. The fox never really speaks, whispered the boy. No, and it's lovely he is with us, said the horse. To be honest, I often feel I have nothing interesting to say, said the fox. Being honest is always interesting, said the horse. There's something I haven't told you, said the horse. What's that? said the boy. I can fly. But I stopped because it made other horses jealous. Well, we love you, whether you can fly or not. Okay. Wow, look at that. Look at the horse flying. Is your glass half empty or half full? asked the mole. I think I'm grateful to have a glass, asked, said the boy. We don't know about tomorrow, said the horse. All we need to know is that we love each other. When the dark clouds come, keep going. When the big things feel out of control, focus on what you love right under your nose. This storm will pass. After the storm, everything is nice and calm again. We have such a long way to go, sighed the boy. Yes, but look how far we've come, said the horse. Sometimes I want to say I love you all, said the mole. 
but I find it difficult. Do you? said the boy. Yes, so I say something like, I'm glad we are all here. Okay, said the boy. I'm glad we are all here. We are so glad you are here too. What's your best discovery? asked the mole. That I'm enough as I am, said the boy. I've realised why we are here, whispered the boy. For cake, asked the mole. To love, said the boy. And be loved, said the horse. What do we do when our hearts hurt, asked the boy. We wrap them with friendship, share tears and time, till they wake hopeful and happy again. Do you have any other advice? asked the boy. Don't measure how valuable you are by the way you are treated, said the horse. Always remember you matter, you're important and you are loved and you bring to this world things no one else can. Home isn't always a place, is it? Thank you. Look how far we've come. Sometimes all you hear about is the hate, but there is more love in this world than you can possibly imagine. And that is the end. That was a brilliant story, Simon. And actually one of my favourite books ever written. Brilliant choice. That's all we have time for today. But I can't wait for our next story together. Bye everybody. <laughs>